Uh, hit another news story here. Hit other news. I wish I had like a news jingle. Yeah, I need something. I don't know. Need a, need a news jingle. Let's to create that. Something like that. Man punches his girlfriend for not waking him up in time. God damn. All right. This one was uh, last week, for, uh, February the 13th. On Thursday morning, authorities say Mr. Green, his name is Drexel Green, uh, he was late. Mr. Green was uh, supposed to meet his bail bondsman to turn himself in on a warrant for violating his, pro- his probation for domestic violence. His girlfriend, whom deputies say he attacked in December, didn't wake him up in time Thursday, so he punched her in the face. Fair enough. So That's a reasonable, right? Yeah, if you're late for your probation hearing, and you're on probation because you were accused of domestic violence, your girlfriend doesn't wake you up, beat her up. Let's, let's commit some domestic violence while trying to serve a sentence for domestic violence. Green, a 27-year-old unemployed man who lives at... <laughs> Home? <laughs> In his mother's no. basement? No, no, no. You want to get, get this one here. This comes out of... Uh, I don't know whereabouts this is. Tampa Bay. So this is out of Florida. Mr. Green, a 27-year-old unemployed man who lives at... 10,025 mm-hmm. 10, Waddle Street in Moon Lake Estates. There's his fucking address. So go I'm, I'm going to visit. You want to go and say hi? I'll meet you in Miami. Oh, let's go for, let's go for the next a flight. Fucking drive. So you like to meet a woman, eh? Yeah. I got a picture of him here and everything. Not for fuck's sakes. One second. I got to get this. All right. Hey, hello. Hey, Blaine. Oh, hey, who's this? Explain you yourself. You fucking called the shit out of my bitch for four hours, three nights in a row, and you asked who the fuck is this, you never call me back? I don't, I don't call bitches back. I've got a rash on my cunt the size of Mississippi. That was there before I got in you. I swear I knew to, you'd say that. I swear to God. Such a fucking bitch. I caught a whiff, man. I mean, baby. There's a... <laughs> I caught a whiff, baby. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to phone you back? After I catch a whiff like that, it was fucking horrendous. It was like rotting fucking oranges and soy sauce. It was fucking disgusting. So I'm waiting for you to come back and service me again. And meanwhile, I have to sit here and deal with my pooter all fucking night long. I'm so good. you call me when you get a chance because I'm sick of this shit. All right. I'm not, I'm not something to play with. Okay, honey, I, I, I promise I'll call you. Better. All right. All right, love you, babe. Later. Love you, too. Who the fuck was that bitch? Did you hear that? Fuck okay, man, you're in big trouble. Yeah, oh, fucking women. You are done for. Yeah, I'm out. I'm toast. <laughs>